Oh. I just got Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Duo Improv Showcase. My name is Ninja. I had to, I had to justify the mask wearing here. Uh, anyway, uh, we do this uh, Duo Improv Showcase every Wednesday night at 8:30, and tonight is uh, 8:30, and it's Wednesday. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're hosting this thing called the Duo Improv Showcase. It's been, it's been going on for 13 years. And we usually uh, do it at the Market Theater, which you saw earlier with, with uh, Ninja doing his nunchucks. I'm talking in third person, that's me. Um, uh, doing my nunchucks down there. And uh, uh, we uh, uh, do it live normally, but because of the pandemic, uh, we had to go to the, go to the, we were doing Zooms, we were doing Twitches. Uh, uh, but right now we are back in the Market Theater and we are streaming uh, uh, live right now. Uh, and we have a special, uh, a special duo for you tonight. These guys are a couple. Their uh, their names are Ron and Michelle Hippie. They've been doing improv with Unexpected Productions for 20 years. Uh, they they met here at Unexpected Productions. They had children uh, who are uh, improvisers. They're actors. They're they're. Uh, they do they do everything. Uh, Ron's in a band. Michelle's on TV all over the place. It's a uh, they're they're a great a great couple, and uh, they're a lot of fun and they're uh, good friends of mine. And because they are a couple, uh, there's less um, uh, restrictions for them if you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, we're going to do a little uh, uh, interview with with them here in a moment. But uh, I also want to introduce. Uh, Nicole is going to be helping us out. She is uh, doing the audio tech and some of the lighting. She's also going to be asking them a few questions to get everything started. So uh, uh, let uh, let us go uh, to our theater uh, here, and we will uh, cut to uh, Nicole. Um, she's going to be interviewing Ron and Michelle. So here is our wonderful market theater right here. And uh, here we go. There she is, Nicole. Oh, and uh, let's give it up for Ron and Michelle. Hey, bravo, Nicole. Bravo, bravo, oh, bravo, bravo, bravo. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you. You in the back, right down in front, looking good. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Where'd you all go? Hi. How we sound? Can you hear us? 
Jay's checking something. Jay's Everyone checking is captivated. Something. Yeah, sounded good. Okay. You guys are great. Hi, everybody. Out in the internet land. All right, so everyone out in the internet world wants to get to know uh, Ron and Michelle Hippie, uh, which, uh, you know, for people that have come to the theater, have probably seen you guys before. Um, but we have a few curated questions here to really get down to the nitty gritty. Curated, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, what is your favorite show that you have been a part of at Unexpected Productions? <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many shows. Okay, well, early on, I got to be a part of Citizen Scrooge, which was, um, which is a, a fun kind of play on Citizen Kane and um, Christmas Carol. And it was very fun because um, it was a scripted show, but when you do it with improvisers, it's always a different show. And again, I was very kind of new here and still very starry-eyed, so that's kind of the first show that comes to mind when you say favorite show. So yeah, it was really fun. I like tech heavy shows, so I like Rock Pro. Rock Pro. <laughs> Maybe I had a little. Bit and you directed. But I can't wait. Once we got all this cool tech stuff going on here, and uh, once we get even more of it, then uh, I love all the technical stuff that we can do coming soon. Yes. What is Rock Pro about? Oh, it was a uh, uh, just a, a big uh, concert, a rock concert, a fundraising rock concert that improvised songs on stage more than just a piano, but had uh, more of a fleshed out band. Uh, Oh. So there you go. Very cool. Um, <laughs> so do you identify with the hippie subculture? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, when I was in high school, which was a long time ago, I was, uh, you know, a real flower child kind of thing. It was the resurgence of the summer of love. This is in the late 80s. And uh, I was totally into all that stuff back then. But uh, I would say now, uh, you know, life moves on. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, yeah, I have only been a hippie for about uh, 15 years. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, even when I wear flowers, I'm like, oh, can I wear this if my last name's hippie? And I can't. But, <laughs> like, if I see, like, a really gaudy pattern that I kind of like, I'm just like, mm, I'm Mrs. Hippie. I don't know if I should wear that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, how did you get started in improv? Oh, my goodness. I mean, so curated from who? Who cured? Who, where'd you find these questions? No, don't answer. I think Nicole and Jake thought that it was the um, what, How do we start in improv? Yeah, do you want to you start? Sure, yeah. When I was in high school, I used to come to this theater, and um, we lived in Kirkland, and so it was a big deal to go across 520, and oh my gosh, we're going to park downtown, and it was so fun. I loved um, especially the women I would see on stage. It was the first time I saw ladies performing that could, didn't have to be pretty, and they could just be a weird spider or whatever they wanted to be. And I just thought, oh, that's what I, I just want to do. So. Um, and there were some pretty spiders. At the there were beautiful spiders too. You could be beautiful one second and then weird and scummy the next, and I just loved that. Um, and so then I started taking classes when I was in college. I wasn't a theater major, but I just thought I gotta take improv classes, and so I did. And uh, then I got into the company one of those days, and I've been here for 21 years. Oh. Yeah. My story's pretty similar, just add a few more years. <laughs> you want to be a, an ugly spider and a pretty lady sometimes? I've tried. <laughs> he doesn't. Um, what's been your favorite quarantine TV show? <laughs> well, that's funny, because uh, we've watched a, a number of things. Uh, we've watched some movies that we got into, but. Um, we, the two of us, watched the original BBC Office a uh, long time ago before our kids came, right before our kids came, and then our kids came, and we did not watch The Office, this series, at all, even though it's... We were mad, we just thought, it's not the real Office, we, yeah. we're not going to watch it. And it's omnipresent in culture now, so, yeah. I, you know, I feel like we're playing catch-up, obviously, but our, our kids now are totally into it, so we're halfway through love it. The Office. Yes, American that's what we're version. watching right now. Nice. Um... Okay, if you could create any new improv show, what would it be? Duos quarantine style. <laughs> but with actual people here. We could do some science experiment where there's, I don't know how we would do it, but it would be amazing to have people here because it feels really lonely and quiet. <laughs> if I could create any show, though, uh, which we, we have all kinds of ideas on shows, I'd like to be, have it be very multimedia that uses a lot of our uh, projector technology and people from distant areas being involved uh, remotely in different ways. And uh, music, sound, 
cameras, the whole deal. So that's, you know, things like soap, uh, uh, sitcoms and, and things that are not as theatrical, but potentially more uh, cinematic or visual. Cool. Yeah, I'll do that, sure. That sounds okay. good. <laughs> Can you tell if we're smiling or frowning? It, it looks like you're smiling, <laughs> the eyes. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite type of music and why? type of music. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, there's, you know, there's so many kinds of music and I really, uh, I espouse that music is, is the same basic core ingredients and it's just sort of topically different depending on what you flavor it with. And so it's all really the same. And I love, for that reason, I really am into a lot of different styles. I don't really try to limit myself to styles, but personally, if I had to really honestly pick like a, what I grew up listening to and what I would choose on the desert island, it would predominantly be um, British music, British band rock music uh, from the 60s and 70s. That's, you know, you know, I've got your Beatles and Who, but your prog rock too, and your, uh, your later new wave stuff, and kind of into that if, if I had to really nail it down. What about you? What about me? Uh, I am not as much of a music file as Ron is. Ron has catalogs and records and all sorts of things. Um, but I love singing. <laughs> I love the show. Will you sing tonight? I love, sure, I'll sing tonight. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I love anything that our boys will sing along with. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, how did you two meet? I guess we heard a little bit of a backstory, right. but how did you guys meet? Yep. Well, we, she saw me. When I was in high school. Shows here. I've got a lot of shows. But we actually met, uh, well, really, my first memory of her is in the back office there uh, before a show. She was new to the company and was going to MC or something. I don't even know who was doing what. Maybe I was MCing, but um, I just was I, was, I was, I was shocked. I just was completely blown away by this incredibly Beautiful, radiant person who had turned out to also be so much more, and uh, we met right back there. And then, of course, we got to know each other through the company and um, the theater. And, and that's how it went. Yeah. How it went. Yeah. We have some. Uh, we have other stories that we can share offline for those of you who are interested <laughs> in more of the salacious origin story <laughs> of our immaculate conception. Um, okay, so just one last question for you guys. Um, what advice would you give to new improvisers? Whew. Uh, well, I am about to teach Improv 100 on Thursdays, uh, if anybody wants to sign up. Um, new improvisers, I think, uh, gosh, I, I, the first thing I'll teach in an Improv 100 class is, hey, we're all gonna, we're all gonna do really dumb stuff, and so let's just, let's be as dumb as we can, and like, it, as soon as you throw away that fear of doing something clever and, and perfect, then that's when you can kind of start to improvise, I think. So um, I like to try to create a safe space where nobody's going to make fun or look and be like, mm, what? You did what character? So um, just very welcoming and also just like do it. Do lots of do lots of bad improv so you can maybe one of these days do really good improv. So, yeah. And I would add just to be uh, receptive, and this is true not for an improv student, but just for people in general, be receptive to uh, new or different or um, unfamiliar ideas and, um, and offers uh, and uh, because that's where you, that was what will lead you to connections and creation and a collaboration that will eventually lead to something other than nothing. And uh, that's the core, core lesson about the whole thing. An empty stage just simply needs to begin to be filled and then before you know it, you've got more than enough. Um, for any professional advice for anyone who's looking to make their fortune as a traveling improviser, um, I, I would just say, well, don't don't get in it for the money, but um, recognize the possibilities that you could you could work with so many different groups and people and uh, locations on the planet, um, and uh, so pursue that. And don't worry too much about don't worry at all about you know being a star and your ego and performing because a real improviser will recognize showboating versus a, a team player who's capable of showboating, and, and that's, I think, your ultimate goal. Cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, thank you for sharing, and uh, leave it to you now. Uh, All right. No thanks, questions Nicole. for you, the Inquisitor. <laughs> All right, that's fine. The Inquisitor gets thanks, that. Well, so um, I believe now uh, we've been told, we've been given authority, and I'll remind you, 
Ladies and gentlemen at home, do not try this at home. We live no. together. We breathe air together a lot. We do. So Nicole we, and Jay are back in a sealed booth. They have been put in a Ziploc container filled with bleach, <laughs> and they're going to shake them up in the back there and then release them after the show. So, uh, boy, oh boy. Ha! Huh, wow. So, again, folks, do not panic. We live together. <laughs> That's the reason we're here, actually, is for that very, very reason. Um, and so, uh, and I wanted to point out, too, that um, Michelle's teaching 100. I'm going to be teaching 200 and 600 coming up uh, in about a week or two from now. So check out the details on when your class starts. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to unexpectedproduction.org and look in the classes section and sign up for classes because they're filling up. We got all of our regular classes, but they're online. And as I said, they're filling up and they're a lot of fun. So there you go. Cool. Should we do a uh, word? A time thing? Yes, we oh. should. And also, so uh, we'll be getting suggestions throughout tonight. We haven't really planned uh, actually much at all. We should have probably done that. But uh, we don't really have any specific idea on what we need to ask for at the moment. It could be an object, uh, could be a room in the house, could be an occupation or anything else that you put your imagination to. Um, and we'll also ask maybe for more specific things as the show goes on. But I also want to pu uh, put out the uh, the request that if you guys have any games that you want to see, not guaranteeing that we'll play them, but throw in a game, uh, and by maybe halfway through or later, we'll, we'll find out some of these and play a game that we weren't expecting to play. And I believe our Twitch audience can give these suggestions. I think we might be streaming on maybe YouTube, maybe Facebook, but Twitch is where you can give suggestions, so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who you are, where you are. I don't even know if you're out there. This could be a big prank. On us. Um, so uh, we're looking, Jay, for any suggestion that has come up so far, or Nicole, uh, from the viewing audience, or Audi I, or uh, that person out there. I know uh, it's Jill. Is Jill uh, Purcell and family watching? Oh, sure not. Um, so if you have any suggestion to start us off, we're going to play a thing called Word at a Time. What is that all about? Well, we just I don't know what's going to happen, but... Okay. So, um, as we're waiting for our suggestions, and there's a... I noticed a number of hands in the back being thrown up in despair. <laughs> uh, and computer smoke. You know what's adorable? Jay actually out. has eight of these seats in the, in the first few rows um, that have improvisers on them, and I kind of love looking and seeing their faces. Yeah. We're going to buy uh, some as well, and you can too. I don't know exactly when or how that retail interface is going to happen, but we are going to be having shirts. Here, just like the sports teams that have the uh, cutouts in their stadium, we're going to have the same here. So check that out too. The information, if it's not already there, is on its way. All right. Do you have any suggestions? Otherwise, we'll find something on our own. There's a suggestion from Xbox Editor, and it is laundry room. Laundry room. <laughs> laundry room. Okay. Well, we're actually going to tell you um, the. Uh, this is an advice show. That's all about the do's and the don'ts. In particular, the don'ts of laundry. Here we go. Welcome to Laundry Show. <laughs> Tonight we are going to discuss the things you should not do in the laundry room. First, never mix your colors with your whites because you will get color bleed onto your shorts. It isn't attractive it's distasteful and awful i would never ever go to your house if you wore shorts like that second you open the washing machine and then you put your dirty <laughs> ideas inside a bag and zip it close and place it in the laundry receptacle never ever ever let your neighbor look at what you're putting in the laundry receptacle because they might find cause to ch press charges against you i always know who to press charges against and they know who they are 
Finally, when your laundry has completed, you should know that it's clean because it feels wet, but smells like a summer's day. I love summer. Do you? Great. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, you guys. Got a microphone. Hey, hey, uh, hey, you guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, so Michelle, I think your mic is muted. Oh. But what? you're you're okay. We turned the top. We turned the center uh, spot See, mic on. Folks, yeah. folks, do you understand? This is the this is the infant era of the technology here that we're dealing with. These are the uh, this is live television kind of like in, in the old days. So this is, you're going to see the in-between, the, the in-between the scenes. Jake, hello. In fact, I think, oh, I here comes Jay running oh, down. No. Oh, oh no, now no. we have to grab our mask. Oh, my, oh Jay. See? Oh, oh, my God. Here comes Jay. He's going to fix it. Oh. Jay, the improv ninja. Oh. This is bonus show, I folks. It. How am I sounding, though? Mm -hmm. Earlier, I had the bad mic, and she had the good one. <laughs> Right? Now I managed to mute myself somehow. How did you did do I that? Yeah. Am I muted? Wait. So wait. while all that's happening, folks. Uh, <laughs> Jay just wanted some stage time. I there goes the improv ninja rolling off the stage. <laughs> I should have grabbed our list to see what our next one is going to be. Uh, it's so, all good. Oh, I got a, one. Let's do a plug. <clears throat> Unless you okay. got something. You got something? Let's do what you had in mind. Here we go. Okay. Thank you, Jay. All hey, right, hold on. I just want to confirm. Am I am I audible? Can I hear things? Am I... Yes, I, I see a big thumbs up. Okay, great. Cool. Uh, next, I would like to play a game called He Said, She Said. It's kind of a verbally game. Yes. He said, can get a little more physical. So, it's a game that I like. And um, I don't know. We probably have 50 million suggestions rolling in from our huge viewing audience. Maybe we just have one. Is there like a suggestion that could get us going? Are there any that are physical activities of any kind? Um, you got the suggestion wine cellar. Wine cellar. Wine cellar. Love it. Great wine cellar. Wine cellar. He said, he she, said. she said. We're going to control each other, each other's actions. Here we go. Wine cellar. You built a wine cellar. She said, stepping uh, slightly trepidatiously forward and, and looking up at all the labels, uh, wiping a little bit of dust from one or two of the bottles. I did. I've got the, the most rare collection in all of the East Coast, the Atlantic Seaboard. I have the most valuable wines here for you. He said, gesturing flamboyantly, at one wall, then another, then at every bottle of wine in the room. Jeremy, how did you ever afford this? She said, reaching up and pulling down a particularly expensive Beaujolais. Well, I, I mortgaged the home. He said, Walking slyly around her and wiping his brow. You mortgaged the home right upstairs from the cellar? She said, putting the bottle carefully down onto the uh, footstool and, and backing away from all the wine as if it was, uh, if it, as if it was evil. Yes, I did. I, I wanted to impress you. I, I, I knew what a, what a fine palate you had, and, and I knew that, that this that culture and, and, and travel meant something to you, and I wanted to impress you. He said, hopping over and uncorking a bottle and pouring a nice glass of it. It does smell kind of good. I can kind of 
wafting it from here. She said, putting her the back of her hand against her forehead and swaying slightly to and fro as if about to faint, but definitely regaining her composure and walking towards the glass. Just try it, sweetie. Try it! I know you'll like it. It, it will change your mind, perhaps? He said, swirling it under her nose and using those little hand fanning things that wine people do. It is, it's oaky and it's got some berries and a hint of, of, of lavender. She said, grabbing the glass and, and sniffing more furiously without drinking, but, but walking in circles around him, deciding whether or not she was going to let that cool red liquid pass her tongue. Well, he said, uh, going down to get right in her eyesight, down on one knee. I'll drink it. She said, first taking a, a very a, a, a timid sip, questioning it, putting her eyes left and right, up above, left and right, then having the rest, second half of the glass, and, and finally drinking the entire thing, throwing the glass against the, shattering it against the wall, against his uh, picture of Larry Bird. And? He said, standing up and wiping the wine off of Larry Bird, protectively. That's the best glass of wine I've ever had. She said, stepping backwards and turning to him and pulling out the mortgage papers and tearing them in half, letting out a small giggle. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have a good night. He said, hugging her and giving her a smooch on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Similar, right? The playbook is too similar to that, right? No, it's not. Playbook? Uh, oh, let's no, do playbook. Not that I want to do similar. some playbook. All right. Playbook is more verbal justification. You can do that. We are, yes, that's right. Yeah. Are you going to be happy? Um, I think uh, Jay and Nicole left, actually, so we got the theater to ourselves yes! tonight. It's just the two Hi. of us and you, <laughs> wherever you are. Uh, we're going to play a game called Playbook, and uh, we have the collected plays of Neil Simon, Volume 1 which has uh, the scripts to many of his classic plays that he wrote, including, in this case, The Odd Couple, um, Plaza Suite, Barefoot in the Park, uh, and uh, many, many more fabulous hits. So, um, uh, do you want me to use this? Sure. So all of my dialogue is gonna come from this book. That's all it's gonna take. Oh, are those lights no good? Oh, is my microphone no good? What happened? Here, put these on. We're, we're just using the uh, the upper light now. We uh, we uh, oh. uh, went ahead and uh, there was some 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 stuff happening on the, on your mic. So oh no, we, you again? can take them off if you want, or you can. Oh like, no, where you does this work still? It works great. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you can take off the mic. Sit your best. <laughs> okay. Well, who would have even known? Who would have known, oh, folks? Man, improv who with microphones. Known? Well, okay. I'll leave mine off for the time being because okay. uh, it would be far too embarrassing to take it off in front of you all. I just think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, so apparently we're using this mic uh, right here. So we're going to yep. step back. Should we step back then, Jay, a little bit? Does that bit? matter or does it matter? What? Awesome. Okay, okay. okay. we use our lights. So all my dialogue, dialogue will come from this. What do we have for a suggestion? You got a suggestion from Lila Sutil, and it's transplanting. Transplanting. Transplant. Transplant. Transplanting. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Lila. Transplant. All right.
It was such a bad idea to plant these tomatoes here on the east side of the house. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. That night I was in Philadelphia cracking the Liberty Bell. Yes, and I had nothing to do but plant tomato plants. And I thought, well, I don't know where my husband is or what he's doing, but I guess I'm just going to go plant some plants. I planted them on the east side of the house. Any idea what you're going to do now? Well, I guess I'm going to plant them on the south side. The sun comes in, and they, they, they just need a lot more sun than what they're getting. <laughs> a nice big table all for yourself. Well, me and the tomato plants, yes. This? Is the life, huh, Chuck, old boy? You know, I really appreciate that you go out and you have your friends and everything, but like, I have actually named my tomatoes. I've got Samantha and Sarah, and I feel like you're just out carousing a lot and I'm home gardening. Dad, you're not making any sense. <sighs> really, really, see, you know, I do feel like the parent in this relationship sometimes. I, I just feel like you're the kid, you go out and have all this fun, I'm the one that's like planting, this, these tomatoes are going to sustain us through the winter, do you understand? Yes, I mean, yes, then, I've made up my mind. Yeah, well I've made up my mind too. It's me and the girls. Oh my god, it's an orgy! What? Oh, come on now, does everything have to be sexual with you? It's, it's plants, it's me, come on! I'm sorry, doctor, it's the best I can do. You know, I used to think that you were the best I could do. And you know what? These, these tomatoes talk back and they've been talking to me and they said that I am worth somebody that will actually spend time with me and garden with me and be here at home. Do you know who makes very good cheese sandwiches? Yeah. You do. I think you can feed yourself, honey. Did you ever taste his cream cheese and pimento on date nut bread? I forgot about that sandwich. You were... That's the sandwich that made me fall in love with you. Look, we'll talk about it when I get back, okay? I'm going out with Chuck again, ringing the Liberty Bell? It's that bad, huh? Yeah. It is that bad. How long are you and the depositor married? The depositor? Is that what you're calling yourself now? That's a little, it's a little crude. But you know what, maybe it's apt. You just come home and you make a deposit whenever you feel like it, and then you go out carousing. Marvelous! Gee, that's terrible! Are you agreeing? I love saying? plain food. Okay, now you're talking. I do too. Feel the earth, honey, in your in your fingers. It's amazing. Would you like to transplant one of these tomatoes? Good. Once a month, I try to make pretty young girls nervous just to keep my ego from going out. <laughs> you ladies nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Lila, whatever the rest of your email ch chat name yes. is. Transplant. For trans transplanting. transplanting. I love it. Transplanting. Um, uh, oh, do you want to sing a song? Or, sure. Or do a, uh, <laughs> do a game request or narrated story? No, we kind of did. So, uh, yeah, do you want to do a narrated story? Sing a song and then do a narrated story. Okay. How about that? All right. How about that? I'm going to sing a song, and I wonder what it's about. You have a suggestion for water trampoline from Bike Baby. Water trampoline. I love Bike Baby? <laughs> I think I might know who Bike Baby is Bike and who Baby. owns a water trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Bike Baby. Um, how about some the drama? Say, yeah, hold on here. Let's get the, the style going. Um, Okay, we're going to go with this sound. It's technical, technical stuff.
Jay. Sometimes it looks like. Oh, that's what we need. Here, take it again. Could they hear any of it? We'll use that mic. It's funny. Did they hear it? You could hear it. They could hear it. They could hear it. It was a real. Uh, that was louder than than that. But I was louder than the music. You no. Know. The other way around. Music was louder than the me. Way okay. Um, if we're gonna do that again, then we should use that. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Do you want to just leave? <laughs> yes. Give it to them. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. <laughs> Funny. Um, the only thing in this dark theater I can see is the booth window, and they both looked like surgeons that were like trying to resuscitate something. And I just thought, uh oh, I don't think this is going well. <laughs> so. Well, we just played a song, and if it was good, then I'm sorry you missed it. If it was bad, then maybe that's for the best. Good on you. Okay. Then. All right. Um, so, um, are there any uh, games that have been requested to this point? Any? Uh, uh, Games or exercises or uh, that kind of thing, and if not, we've got our, some stuff. But uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> All right. Jim, All right. We talked about that. Do you have a good camera angle for that? Wait. Let's just make sure we're not going to mess up any. Uh, yeah. Don't touch. We can't touch this, but we can. What? Okay. What? He'll figure it out. Okay. So we're gonna do a sideways scene, which means that the the uh, the dimensions of our reality have uh, rotated, um, and so uh, it's kind of like uh, Tommy Lee's drum kit in uh, Motley Crue, yes. where he would kind of go around upside down and stuff. In this case, we're only gonna rotate one quarter of the. Uh, of the twist, meaning that um, the uh, the floor here is going to actually be the yeah. going to be represented over here, and the fourth wall, proverbial fourth wall here, is actually going to be this floor, and then the actual ceiling is going to be this proverbial fourth wall, and then this backdrop is going to be up there. I think somebody must be watching and telling me <laughs> something. Someone's texting. So we need an activity or anything at all. If there's already a suggestion that is an activity, that's fine. If not, we'll take something else. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use this one a lot. Yeah. That's good to know. Oh, that for this next scene? Yep. Got it. All right. Okay. So this is going to be a crazy scene, uh, highly dangerous, um, potentially, uh, I don't know, it could get a little frisky. You never know. You never know. But uh, uh, you actually wanted to play this game as we were driving down here. But Ron and I said, oh, I got, nice got, a, got a new shirt on. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's gonna get real frisky, I'll tell you what. Okay, that's what it gets. It's improv. Ladies, uh, people, everyone, humans, please just wear clothes that you can be yourself in, all right? Yeah, I'll take Dress to impress, and that's fine, but you might. Um, We're still waiting for that suggestion, right? No, yes. Nicole's waiting for us to shut up so she can tell us. You have a suggestion from Ohams, and the suggestion is jogging. Jogging! Jogging with a sideways scene, yep. Jogging, thank you, oh Hans. Jogging it is, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. old-fashioned, you know, so yeah. 80s yeah. that they, they don't do it anymore, but I'm really glad to have you in this okay. class because it gives me purpose and meaning in my life. Yeah, so is there a reason that you start out in that ditch? Yeah, um, because I want to I, I want to kind of have room to grow. I want to have uh, uh, levels to achieve uh, okay. on the way. But uh, uh, here, why don't I come up on your level? Okay, sure, yeah. I, yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, so, so we're the only, we're the only ones in the Wow, that's, do you do parkour? Yeah, that's, 
kind of one of my, I'm, a, I'm kind of a health nut. As you can see, you want to check out my, my glute, my, oh my. back yeah, muscles. Do you mind if I, oh goodness. Yeah, you like that's those? Really, that's nice. Yeah. That's good stuff. Okay. Well, um, the most important thing about jogging is, first of all, it's your shoes. Yeah. So what do you got? Well, so I just have these ones that, you know, I, oh gosh, this one's untied. Um, I got some Nikes. I just thought that's what. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. Uh, you're going to have to do this barefoot. You know, oh. all the best uh, marathoners, they go barefoot. Um, oh, okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, because your your shoes are not they're just not appropriate for long distance jogging. You're gonna okay. you're gonna get a you're gonna develop some calluses. All right, well, okay, um, great. So, uh, all right, and uh, now, did you did you bring some sweatbands for your for your here and for your wrists? Uh, gosh, I I have a no. Ah, I got I got some over oh, here okay. in my uh, gym bag great. that I've got right over here. All right. In the warm-up ditch. Yeah, no, I got okay. it. No, I left it over here. I left it over here. Whoa! 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 Oh no! Oh my god, oh you, my god. you fell in the warm-up ditch barefoot! Oh my god. I didn't have my Nikes on. Alright. I just oh gosh, I just oh gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my shoelaces out and, and then I'll throw you a rope down. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tie these two oh, together. Correctly here. All right. All right. I'm just gonna. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to grab one? I think so. Okay. Okay. Here I go. One. Yeah. Two. All ready. Okay. Three. Ooh. Hold it. Okay. Got it. I got it. All right. Come here. Oh, you're so strong. Ah, Whoa. Right. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Run through each other's lives together. Okay. <laughs> you want to meet me in the ditch? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we. <Wee>. Come on. <laughs> hey. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ditches. Was that Sorry. from Hanchar? Did that, that what I understood? I think it was from Ohanch, so maybe from Hanchar and Patrick. You never know. Okay. All right. Our five friends are watching tonight. We're really excited. <laughs> Which I think. Okay. Eighty-nine minutes left. Eighty-nine. So here we go. So, uh, you know, actually, we're gonna. So while we can catch our breath, I um, do want to say that um, not only do we have our classes, but uh, you all know this because the five of you know this, but maybe the other fifty thousand who we joke that aren't there but actually are. I want to let you guys know that uh, if you go to unexpectedproductions.org, you can find out not only about our classes but all the shows that we still do online every week wednesday through saturday we got so many different kinds of shows up tv i think maybe still happening maybe not but we have many awesome cool shows from duos to that we've got talk back on saturdays so many things check it out on unexpectedproductions.org yes indeed did you want to look at oh, that i was supposed to think of something while you were saying piece of paper there yeah yeah okay great um let's do a let's just do a narrated story great we're going to tell a story and take turns narrating it how about and acting it out we'll take turns and acting it. <clears throat> great so let's get mind you grab a suggestion great i'm going to grab some water awesome your suggestion from sid space walker is wands wands like magic wands yeah. wands is our suggestion magic wands wands okay. is a narrated story <clears throat> Jessica had always wanted a friend. She imagined that maybe, maybe if she was magical, she could have a friend. She lived deep in the forest and every day she'd go out and play and wish that there was someone, someone magical, regular, didn't matter. Oh, here I am every day. Uh, a little girl who lives alone by herself deep in the forest with no one else. Kind of strange. My backstory's insane. Let's not even get into it. But suffice it to say, I'm here all alone in the forest. And this is so unfun to play. Uh, the raccoons run away, and, and why the blue jays, they never settle on my finger. Uh, oh, it's so lonely here in the forest. Oh, oh I just want somebody, somebody kind of normal. And then, in walked... 
Well, hello. <laughs> yes. It, <laughs> it's me. It was her. Mm-hmm. The town tax collector. That's right, little girl. I see you come out in the forest every day, complaining and whining and scaring all the animals away and reducing our property value. What's wrong with that? It's a free forest, isn't it? Well, some might think it's free, but I collect the taxes around here, little girl. Taxes? What? Yes. Why, this is unincorporated area. But well, I've never even registered. I, I, I don't even have a social security number. How can you demand taxes from me? I don't even have representation. Oh, you have all these things even if you don't realize that you do. You're in a file somewhere. There's all sorts of numbers attached to your name. This is America. You're gaslighting me, but that's all right. Well. Let's continue. To the point. I've been listening to you from my tax office right over there in that hollow tree. That's right. Jimmy, the lady tax collector, had lived there unknown to the isolated girl all this time. Jimmy had always wanted to collect taxes, but had a plan to collect more taxes than were legal and siphon those off to fulfill her dream that she had always held deep inside her heart. And I am this close to buying a mansion, except I just can't get any work done when I hear you out here complaining every day. A mansion? Well, what gives you the right to have such an ostentatious habitat while all of the creatures of the forest live where they find it? Uh, beneath a, a, a rock or within a, a, a log or, or maybe perched high upon a, a fir branch? Well, because I work at a computer and I wear clicky shoes and everything. It makes me like someone who should live in a mansion, clearly. And somehow, Jimmy, the lady tax collector, started to question her, her entire, uh, her, her life's plan, but it seemed so freeing to live unencumbered in the forest with nothing but the canopy of the stars above you at night and, and the berries upon the trees to feed you in the day. It, it seemed so liberating, and, and yet she had clung to her old ways uh, that she could not relinquish. Tell me, Jessica, why is it that you don't wear clicky little shoes on your feet? Why should I wear clicky little shoes? They don't help me out in the swamp or on the dry soil. Oh, but what would you even do in the swamp? And Jessica explained what she does in the swamp with big gestures and dance movements and really talked about everything she does in the swamp and all the great fun that she has when she's in the swamp. And that's all that I do right here. Just in the swamp. Well, but look at you. You survived. You didn't grow a fungus. You didn't lose a limb. No. I mean, maybe it's occasionally more dangerous with this lifestyle, but I learned how to be self-reliant and resourceful. Well, hmm. That's very interesting. It almost seems magical. It is magical. It's the magic of, of letting go of, of tradition. And, and, and embracing the unknown future. You can do it. Oh, I've tried that before, and I, I skinned my knee. Yes, she did. Long time ago. It, it was when she, before she wanted to be a tax collector, when she hated money and counting and, and, uh, and all of that. It was when she was pushed down by, a, by somebody who, uh, by, by a, a bohemian who, who didn't s save money or have uh, debt. And so because of that, she decided ever since then she's going to have revenge on the bohemian lifestyle. Wow, that's, that makes a lot of sense, but, well, yeah, I was up here, wasn't I? That makes a lot of sense, but trust me, get rid of those clickety-clacks and, and drop that slide rule and, and get rid of those 1099s. Oh. You don't need them. The forest has all the 1099s you, anybody would ever want. Where should I put them? Burn them! Right here in this dry forest. Here, let's light them. Wait a minute. Let's what? light them what? right here in the forest. Look, I don't know. I've got a cigarette lighter oh, handy. And some kerosene. Goosh, goosh, goosh. Oh, no! It's got out of control. Oh, okay. Now, uh, oh, this oh, wasn't my plan. I'll use my slide rule to oh. get it out. Okay. Um, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, look at these twigs. Yeah, dry tinder. That should help put it out. Look! What? It is working! Well, it is actual magic. It's as if the magic wand of mine is shooting pink powder, and yours is 
was shooting blue powder. Why, our gender reveal is inconclusive, just like all of life. It's purple powder that's coming up in the forest and dousing all the flame and all the smoke. My gosh, maybe, maybe having no rules is no, is no solution, and maybe having too many rules is no solution. Maybe a combining of our of our sticks and having both of our qualities, good and bad, together, we can we can lead a balanced life. Let's do it, little girl. Okay, older female tax collector. I'm taking off my clicky shoes. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Jay, do you want more show? Do, what's happening? Do we want more show? More? I don't know. What time is it? What's our time? All right. You, you, one one more thing. thing. The last thing. Let's do a magically kind of thing. Okay. We're going to sing for you then. If we got time for one more thing, and then I guess we throw it back to Jay and you close, right? Yeah. So All we'll right. do one more thing. Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. And by the way, Hey everybody at home! I know it may you may seem silly, but if you if if you believe fairies will be real, and if you clap right now, Jay'll hear it. Jay hit in the back on tech. Let's hear it for Jay. Yes. And let's hear it for Nicole, Nicole. on tech and interview tech in the back. Yes. Thank you, hosts Jay and Nicole. all the rest. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, and thanks for clapping at home. We actually didn't hear it. Sorry, I misled you. But um, that's the interactive part of the show. These two rows of audience members are very shy. They are simply t-shirts on a on chairs, so I guess that's why they're not being more boisterous. Okay, but they, they're so cute, and they've got lovely smiles, and it just looks so supportive. They do, and remember, you can get your own shirt, t-shirt, right here, and be a part of this theater and all of its support. Um, so what we'd like to ask for now is maybe one, two, or three of the remaining suggestions that are floating around in the Flotsam and Jetsam. Pumpkins? <laughs> so we have pumpkins and Minecraft. And what was the, was there a one in between? Pumpkins and Minecraft. Pumpkins and Minecraft. Okay, we will, uh, we will serenade uh, you on our way out. Pumpkins and Minecraft. Okay. Socially on this 
Christians because we do that every day. Yep, we do. Theaters alive, uh, especially our theater. <laughs> I mean, I'm biased. Why not? Uh, and uh, and everybody out there, uh, I just wanted to say we, we do this every Wednesday night. We have the Duo Improv Showcase. Uh, we have a couple of new duos next, uh, new, a new duo next week, and then another one after that. Uh, and then we're going to be starting our show Campfire, and it's this crazy uh, Halloween Halloween themed show starting September 25th. Uh, the first show uh, uh, will be, uh, we're, we're, we're going to uh, uh, be doing all the tech stuff. We're going to be doing stuff uh, on, maybe on the stage, out in the wilderness. Uh, it'll be, uh, it's going to be a show when, in which we're going to be uh, uh, charging some money for, but the first weekend will be will be free to you because we got to work out all the bugs. Uh, anyway, thank you once again. And thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, so much for helping out. And Ron and Michelle Hippie, keep it going for them. Thank you, and thank you, uh, uh, there they are! Hey! 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 There they are right there. Uh, and, uh, and of course, thank you uh, to this, uh, to this audience, uh, over there. Um, we, um, um, uh, those guys behind us, we had like, it looks like Zertucci and a bunch of other people standing there watching. So, uh, if you want to buy a t-shirt, you can, uh, it's uh, cl uh, club.up.org, and we have all kinds of merchandise and, and, and discounts. And if and we, have, we sell masks, when, you, when we do open back up, if you wear the mask, we'll get discounts and all that stuff. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. You just want to go to bed, or you want to like stream uh, Twitch. You want to you want to hop around Twitch and look at watch people play video games and stuff. So anyway, thank you again. What's again? My name is uh, Ninja tonight, or J Hit, uh, and uh, thanks. See you later.